Is 5-amino-1-MQ safe? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how there's a lacking amount of evidence when it comes to human clinical trials, but I'll share with you some of the pathways that make this molecule very unique. I'll also show you some of the common pitfalls people jump into when they use 5-amino-1-MQ, which can lead to too much energy, which, you know, you can feel a little jittery and how to circumvent that. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clear knowledge on what 5-amino-1-MQ does, what does the safety profile look like, and then you can talk to your provider about whether or not this is right for you. And so this is not medical advice. This is me sharing with you some of the things I've learned through my journey, living a very long and healthy life and helping as many people along that path as I possibly can. So I'm Reagan Archibald. I'm the founder of Ageless Future. You can go to agelessfuture.com and go deep and learn about my team and what we do. It may just change your life. Five amino one MQ is it safe? Well, here's what we know: is five amino one MQ. It's not a stimulant. It's not a steroid. Some people blocked it into the steroid or performance enhancing drug category. But it's a molecule that's fascinating because it blocks or inhibits this pathway called NNMT. And when NNMT is expressed. This is your nicotinamide and methyltransferase pathway. When that pathway is expressed, we can end up with obesity. We can get diabetes. Our metabolic function starts to turn down on us. We also have found that when NNT is blocked, you get a greater expression of AMPK, which may help in longevity. We also found that when NNMT is active, you're more likely to have better signaling for cancer. So just by turning off this pathway, researchers think this could be a potential way of circumventing some of the risks of cancer. But once again, take this through your experimental lens and apply it to your biology. And before you start engineering a hypothesis or a conclusion without proper evidence. So 5-amino-1-MQ, I've been using this off and on for just under eight years. And I found by cycling it, it's one of the ways that we can potentially mitigate the risks. And the thing that I looked at is the preclinical trials in animal models. One of these studies, I'll share it with you here, it was published last year out of the University of Texas in the medical branch. And what they wanted to do is evaluate if 5-amino-1-MQ had any adverse events. And so they took these aged mice who were fed a high fat diet, they all had obesity, they had metabolic imbalances, diabetes, and they looked at muscle function. And so they wanted to see after 12 weeks what would happen in these animal models. Specifically, these obese mice, the study, this one was about 40 mice, and um, it was published in scientific reports. There was a placebo group versus the treated group versus the controlled group or the placebo group. And what they found in utilizing the 5-amino-1-MQ, and in some mice, they had much higher doses. Number one, there was no lethal dose that was established. They found that the 5-amino-1-MQ significantly improved metabolic health. They also found there was reduced fat, specifically white fat. And they found that there was an increase of NAD levels, and NAD is a sirtuin activator, without causing adverse effects like toxicity in the liver. They didn't see any toxicity in the kidneys. Generally speaking, they found that there was no hormone disruption. There was no overstimulation, even in the groups with the higher dosing. They found that it was well tolerated in the animal models. So is it safe for humans? Well, that's what we're all here for today. And the mechanism of action, ideally, anytime you have more NAD expression, one of the things that you're going to have is more energy. So some of the side effects that we've seen are you can get a little bit of upset stomach, similar to if you have, you know, like an NAD drip. It's not that severe, but you can feel just slight nausea. You also want to take this in the morning if you're experimenting with it, because if you take it too late in the day, sometimes that surge of energy can keep you up. However, if you have some reverse polarity, as some of my clients have, this actually can help you sleep, ironically. But what most users have reported is that if you dose it where it's a scaling dose, ascending dose, so starting at like 50 milligrams for a week and then up to 100, then to 150, 
100 for a week, 150, you know, you can go upwards to about 90 days. So we typically do not recommend any longer than that. Most of the time, the cycles are 60 days, maybe twice a year. And because I love 5-Amino-1-MQ, I would love to take this all year round. But once again, I don't want to put my body at risk. I have longevity goals. And so I want to increase my health span. And NAD is one of those pathways that I've been targeting very selectively. I like using NAD nasal spray. But then also I like 5-Amino-1-MQ because I can build my body's own NAD production. Now, this pathway, when it was uncovered, they tested thousands of molecules on this NNMT inhibition pathway. 5-Amino-1-MQ just seemed to be advantageous. In the animal models, is really impressive because of the safety profile that I just mentioned. No lethal dose has been established. The muscle contractility improved. In the animal models, the cholesterol, these were obese mice, their cholesterol levels came down. They saw an improvement in triglycerides, improvements in their body's metabolic system. So the hemoglobin A1C came down, the insulin fasting came down. So it did seem to remodulate the metabolic system, but then secondarily, they also uncovered the fact that 5-amino-1-MQ has the activation of the secondary energy system called AMPK. And when you have an activation of AMPK, you get a slight downregulation of mTOR, which allows your body to clear out old cells and it promotes autophagy, especially when you're exercising. Now, 5-amino-1-MQ, the thing that you would not want to do is you wouldn't want to just expect this to be some kind of exercise in a bottle, like some kind of magic pill. There's no such thing. No peptide, no molecule, no hormone, no stem cell can outperform or allow you to outrun a sedentary lifestyle or poor diet. And so just by adding in sirtuin activators, this will make 5-amino-1-MQ in theory safer. And so sirtuins are, if you like chocolate, for example, it's a sirtuin activator. If you enjoy and just eat a little bit, please, with no sugar in it, watch out for the lead. There's get clean sources, any kind of spearmint, peppermint, if you like basil, thyme, oregano, these are all great, part of the sirtuin diet. Generally speaking, like what we call the Mediterranean diet, which is pretty broad actually, it would be like, make sure you're getting your proteins, get some good, clean, healthy meats. Ideally, I, I grew up on a cattle ranch, so get your beef. Ideally, eating your meat, getting one gram of protein per pound of lean body weight is ideal. And then add in some of these sirtuins, you know, just don't eat the leafy greens, but add in some things with the pop, you know, your thyme, your basil, your oregano, your peppermint, your spearmint. These are all really good for activating sirtuins. If you're thinking about increasing your NAD, you can try adding in like some precursors for NAD, but I find a nasal spray of NAD activates that sirtuin just a little better versus what we take orally. Very little of it actually makes it to the mitochondria. One thing you can use with 5-amino-1-MQ is like BPC-157, TB4. You also may want to consider tessamorelin to activate the growth hormone so you can get to the goals that you want to get to. So if 5-amino-1-MQ, if you want to know, is this safe for me? Very first thing you want to do is get your blood work ran and don't just get a general blood lab, but go deep. Work with somebody who understands functional medicine, understands what the right cycle is, what the right timing is. That's what's really going to make this safe as well as we can predict based on the data that we have. Appreciate you being on the channel. I'm Reagan Archibald. I'll see you on the next show.